Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reviewing the Bath & Body Works products that I didn't get to finish in my last video and all of the stuff that I bought during the semi-annual sale. So, I it's not as much stuff um, as my last Bath & Body Works video. If you have not seen that video, I will link it down below. Um, you guys really, really loved that video. I didn't think that video was going to hit off so well. Um, so I decided to film another one for you guys. Just so that way I don't have you waiting forever until Christmas time to show you all of like my Christmas and winter like scents. Um, so I have, like I said, ma majority of, this is all of the Bath and Body Works stuff that I bought during the semi-annual sale. And then like I said, the stuff I didn't get to finish. So um and then there's like some some extra stuff that i bought just to like double up on um because some of the some of these smells like they're they're not gonna stay in bath and body works they're once the sale's over like they'll be gone they won't bring them back until next year so um a couple of them i doubled up on just because i love the way it smells so much let me turn this down my back light is too uh too bright so i had to turn it down and I just filmed this makeup look and the light was right turned fully all the way up and I didn't realize it until it was too late. <laughs> so I just filmed my whole makeup look video with that light like bright as hell and blinding. So I apologize for that in advance. Um, but yeah, so if you guys want to see the rest of my like summer, spring smells not winter stuff <laughs> then please keep watching so we're gonna start off just like with the last video how i started off with everything that i liked the least we're gonna start off with the smells that i like the least here so first one is aromatherapy this is the green one um, I bought this because it says it's a stress relief. It's eucalyptus and spearmint and it's made with natural essential oils. Um, <sighs> the smell when I took a shower with this the first time I think it was just too much for me. I haven't used it since then. It's been sitting on my shelf in the back. So I have two shelves up here. The top shelf is like all of my spring smells, I guess. That ones that I don't reach so much for. And then my bottom shelf, all of my Christmas stuff in the back row. And then in front of that, I have all of the stuff I grab and wear all the time. This is in the back, <laughs> so I never reach for it. Just, I have the scrub and I have the, do I have the body wash? No, I don't think I have the body wash. Do I have the body wash? I'm asking you guys like you would know. <laughs> I I think I might actually have the body. Hold on, let me watch my TikTok. So now I'm curious and I want to know. I do. Okay, so I do have the the body wash. So I have the body wash. This is the lotion, and then I have the the scrub. Um, I had used this. Um, the day after I had a nightmare, uh, I have really bad nightmares almost every night, pretty much. Um, and some of them are reoccurring nightmares, so some of them, it's the same nightmare, um, a lot of the times. And, uh, I thought maybe this will help, because, I mean, it says stress relief, <laughs> so I was thinking, okay, maybe I'll just, after work, just, you know, get like a nice calm shower, take a shower, and just... So for the notes here, all it says is just stress relief, relax, and reground with this carefully crafted essential oil blend. Eucalyptus oil clears the mind. Spearmint oil soothes and uplifts. Breathe deeply for best results. I mean, I did breathe deeply, but it gave me a headache. Just the smell, I think it's just too strong for me. I just, I don't know, so. Uh, I'll probably give it a try one more uh, one more try like but I I don't think I'll change my mind I think it's just the smell is too strong for me so 
I'll probably end up giving this one away. And then the next set that I don't like, Jingham. I know, I... When I smelled this at first, it... Oh. <laughs> okay, so it's mad at me because I don't like it. So when I smelled this at first, um, it reminded me of like a really fresh like smell, which it is, it's it's pretty fresh. Um, gotta use this now. Um, but after a while when I was smelling it, I don't know, the smell gave me a headache. I can only wear it like mildly. Like I can't, when I, when I wear my Bath and Body Works spray, you can ask my husband, I drench myself in the spray, like drench myself. So I did that obviously the first time with this one and I think it was just too, like too much. Um, and then so I, I didn't, I just continued to do that. I didn't know, but I think maybe if I were to wear this one again, I would probably have to like, um, like lightly on my wrists and that's it, just one, two. And then for the lotion, just mainly like my uh, like my legs and that's that's it. And then the key notes here says blue freesia, there's that word again, uh, white peach, fresh clementine, violet, and clean musk. So if you guys haven't watched my last video, you wouldn't know that I'm not a big fan of, of musk, so. That could be why I don't care too much for this one, but um, I'm not a big fan of musk. The smell, for some reason, when I wear it for a long period of time, it, it just hurts my head. So, and you guys know me, I'm sensitive to smells. So, this one, I, I, I don't, the smell is, it's, it's nice. Like, when you first smell it, you're like, mm, it smells fresh, it smells good. But, for some reason on my skin and on my body and everybody's smell of all of these fragrances any of these fragrances everybody has their body has its own way of reacting to the smell mine is just it, it could be different from what yours may be so the way it smells on you it would be different the way it smells on me so I mean it's a great smell like I don't get me wrong it's just when I wore it too long, I don't know why it was just, I think it's just, it was too strong, I don't know. So I would probably, if I wear this again, it'll I'll just be like really like lightly spritz, not, you know, drenching myself like I do with my other ones. The next smell that I don't care for really is the rose. Um, This sits in the back with the aromatherapy <laughs> and the Jingham. Um, this smell, it smells like roses. It does. I don't know, it just doesn't complement my skin that well. It just says uh, airy rose water blended with jasmine petals and creamy musk. So the musk, again. It didn't last long on me. And I sprayed a lot of this and it it just didn't last long on me like it the linger like it went away I just it did nothing for me <laughs> and this is my my niece said that she loves the way that this smells so I'm I don't know like I said the way it smells on everybody it's different so for me it just did not last it says 24 hour moisture but I feel like it didn't really Keep me moisturized that long and that is because I buy the ultra shea body creams I actually stopped buying these because I noticed that these aren't as creamy as the regular body lotions and it's weird because I feel like the whole point of this is because it's supposed to be like more creamier but they're not like I feel like these are thinner than the the regular lotion I don't know Comment down below if if you've noticed that too, but I stopped buying these and I started just buying the regular lotion. So you'll see here with the couple of ones that that I have. Um, if it was just if the regular lotion was available, I bought it. But if it wasn't available, then I obviously I bought this because this is all they had. But 
um, yeah, I just, I don't know. Maybe it's because it's the cream. I don't know. But this one, I added, I probably wouldn't wear that much again. Maybe like one or two more times. Same thing with like the, the aromatherapy. Probably not that much, so. Next one that I don't care too much for. You're the one. I don't care too much for this one because when I was smelling it in the store, I was smelling so much stuff back in, I think it was January um, or February. I was smelling so much stuff and I guess by the time I had got to this, I couldn't like really tell the smell, um, but yeah, this smell is just, well, it is a mature smell, very mature. Um, and it's really like musk. So the fragrance note says white birch, velvety rose, a drop of strawberry nectar. So I guess there's no musk in it. But I don't know, this just, the packaging was really pretty, but for some reason the smell, yeah. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I mean, if you like this smell, then you know that this that's for you. But for I just for me, I don't know. I just I don't know why I wanted this so badly. And I came home, put it on, and did a shower routine with it. And I'm like, hmm, this isn't my body. This isn't like this doesn't complement my body smell. <laughs> so I don't know. That's just for me though. The next fragrance that I have um, that I got during February. That light has a mind of its own is the forever red um this one it's not too bad i mean i could wear it i could definitely wear it um this one is a mature smell i think and the notes on this one it just says uh fiery pomegranate uh red peony rich vanilla rum and oak wood so this is a strong smell as well um I, I feel like I could wear this and it wouldn't give me a headache because when I wore it before it didn't give me a headache but um I don't know I don't feel like this one complimented my body the way it smells in the bottle obviously so I don't know it just it didn't compliment me the way I thought it would the next one that I have is chocolate covered cherry um, this is the only one that I got from the bakery collection, the sweets collection. This is the only one that I really liked. Um, it smells like chocolate. I smell the chocolate and I smell the cherry. So I actually, I think I might take a shower and wear this one tonight. Um, I like this one. This one was the, was the only one that I liked. The other ones, I, they were just, uh, too uh, rich for me and I, um, but um, this one, I actually like this one. So this is like a very like comforting smell. And this one is, smells like you just, it's Saturday night, you're at home on your couch with your boo and snuggled up in your jammies and eating chocolate. <laughs> that's that's what this one smells like to me. So um, I, I like this one. So the key, the fragrance notes for this one, it says rich milk chocolate, red cherries and sweet liqueur. So this one, this one smells good. I, I like the way that this one smells. And then the next one that I have is Black Cherry Merlot. Merlot, Merlot, Merlot. Um, this one, this one smells good. I like this one. This one reminds me of like Christmas time. So this is like the older packaging. Um, I know that they have the new packaging that's like this, which I wish I should have got. Um, but I didn't want to just go and exchange it just because of the packaging. So, um, they, they still have it in that packaging. So I need to actually start using this one. Um, but this, I like to wear in the winter. And as you guys know, I have like my winter scents that I wear in the winter. And then I have like, hello, I have like my summer, and my spring scents. So this one is a winter, um, but this one smells good. I like this one. Yeah. Mm. yeah I like this one this one smells this one smells good it is um it's a little strong 
but not too bad. And then the key notes for this, um, the fragrance notes are dark cherry, black raspberry, some tuscious merlot, merlot, some tuscious merlot. I don't know. Hit the town, raise your glass, and celebrate the season with the smoothest vintage. Interesting. Okay, so this is the one I got from the semi-annual sale, this one that we're currently in, uh, Kaleidoscope. I bought this because I wanted to know what it smelled like, and it's hard to describe what this one smells like, and especially since I have Jing Him on my arm now, and that's all I smell is the Jing Him. But this one, This one's not, this one isn't too bad. This one is actually like a, um, a perfumey smell. And I like the perfumey smells. So this one says the keynotes are iris, cedarwood, clean musk, and pink pepper. I got this online and they only had the, this body cream. They didn't have the spray lotion, so. Um, I just wanted to get this because I wanted to know what it smells like and it doesn't smell too bad and I mean the packaging is everything so I, I like this one this one this one smells pretty good I like this one next one that I love champagne toast this one I like to wear in the winter um, this is one of the older uh, bottle designs I know that the champagne toast is now like the forever red it's like this crystal -y. Um, kind of packaging but this is the old one this is from 2019 I think um, mm. <sighs> the smell just reminds me of like Christmas time I wore this a lot during the winter so it smells absolutely amazing I love this smell I feel like everybody likes this smell like you can't argue with this one this one is this one this one smells really good so Let's see. Fragrance notes are pink champagne, uh, black cur currant, cham, chambord. <laughs> Why do I suck at reading these? Um, sparkling nectar and sugared musk. So I like this one though. This the musk I don't mind in this one because she smells she smells pretty. <laughs> Okay, and now we're starting to get into everything else that I got during the semi-annual sale. The next one is Midsummer Dream. This one smells really good. I like it. Mmm. Ah. Nice and fresh scent. It smells amazing. Fragrance notes are Salted Pear, Fresh Nectarine, Seaside Lily. Everything that I have that has pear in it so far is like what I like and I feel like it gives that fresh kind of smell um, And I like fresh scents. I know I I do like the more perfumey stuff as well But the fresh scents are the ones that don't give me a headache um, when it comes to the perfumey kind of smells I got to be a little bit more pickier with those ones because They will give me a headache, but the when it comes to fresh scents I could wear it all, all day and I'll be fine. So yeah, the, the salted pear is is what I like in this one. This one smells great. Like you can smell the pear in this one. And I mean, the packaging is really beautiful. So uh, the only thing is I wish I would have just gotten in the lotion instead of getting it in this one. Um, so that's, that's the only thing, but um, I mean, this one smells great. So if you guys don't have this one, I would definitely recommend going and picking it up. All right, the next scent that I picked up during the semi-annual sale is Coastal Hydrangeas. This one smells so clean. Oh, it smells like a mixture of like baby powder and soap and just, oh, it smells so good. The key notes for this one is Fresh Hydrangeas, Ocean Mist, and Golden Apple. This smells fresh, you guys. I like this one. Summer days spent gathering banquets of fresh coastal blooms. This one smells really nice, you guys. Yeah, this is like just like a relaxing like smell. I don't know how to explain it, but you it's like a baby powder 
Johnson & Johnson body wash kind of smell. It's really relaxing. I, when I smell it, it makes me feel relaxed, which I guess is what the aromatherapy one was supposed to do. So this one did it for me. <laughs> this next one is Mango Mai Tai. I actually almost didn't get this one the first time I went to Bath and Body Works during this semi-annual sale and I don't know why I think it's just because I was smelling so much stuff and by the time I had got to this one I probably I didn't smell anything uh, but this one it does smell good mango it smells like mango that's what it is and notice that I did just get the regular body lotion this time I did not get the um, the ultra the Ultra Shea Moisture or the Ultra Shea, eh, the Ultra Shea Body Cream. I did not get that um, just because I am now going to start buying just the body lotions because I feel like they're more rich. I feel like they're, um, they keep your skin more soft and there's just more to work with. They're thicker. The Like I said, I feel like the other ones are thinner and it's not supposed to be that way. I feel like it's supposed to be the other way around. But this one actually smells good. Um, I couldn't find the body wash for this one. Um, at my store they had it online, but I didn't just want to buy one body wash and pay $5.99 for shipping I didn't want to do that. So I ended up not getting it um, If I do do a shower TikTok with this one, I'll probably just go buy like the Dove the Dove mango or something um, but This one does smell good and then the next one that I got during the semi-annual sale is denim and daisies this one is smells I smell like I do smell some type of coconut in it um but this was like part of like the 4th of July uh, bottles that they had the key notes for this the fragrance notes say sweet daisies sun wash denim and summer citrus so this one it's kind of like I want to say it's kind of kind of smells similar to the confetti daydream um i i remember explaining that one in my last video like when you're taking a shower and you have the door open and you're sitting like in the room and somebody's taking a shower and you just you smell like the soap coming through like the shampoo um that that kind of smells like this one so it's it's not as like intense as the confetti daydream but this one does smell similar and it does smell like clean and fresh and i actually ended up buying this one for my niece because i thought that she would like the clean fresh kind of smell this next one smells really really good cherry limeade this one just smells amazing like you can smell the cherry smell the limeade I mean juicy red cherries candied lime sparkling citrus soda it smells really good like it's super sweet I could wear this all day oh it smells so sweet this smells really really good I love the way this one smells you guys oh it smells so good you gotta pick this one up and I did get the matching um I don't think I have it with me right here though yeah, it's in the shower currently, but I did get the um the body the body gel, the the shower gel. I got the shower gel for this one. So I would recommend definitely getting this one. If you like sweet smells, like this smells kind of sweet sour. This one smells really good. Another smell that I picked up during the semi-annual sale that smells so good, you guys. Pink tie-dye this one smells really good oh man this one smells so good so there I don't know how to else to explain this one but basically just the fragrance notes are pink lady apple water lotus and cotton blossom oh it smells so good I love the way that this one smells you guys I oh man this one smells great if you gotta get one, man, just make sure that you get this one. This one smells so good, you guys. Like, I love the way this one smells. You gotta get this one and go pick it up. <laughs> and then the last one that I have to show you guys that I got at the semi-annual sale is Firecracker Pop. This is my favorite smell right now. Um, and I did get it in the, the lotion. I have the shower gel for this one. I've actually bought a second shower gel for this one in the cherry limeade. 
um, just because I didn't want to run out of those. Um, and I think I actually got another lotion of both as well. Um, but this one just smells so good. Like, I actually got a little mini, mini like travel of the spray and I keep it in my purse just so like why I can like spray to freshen up but mm, it smells so good I love the way that this one smells you guys oh, I just I love this one so the fragrance notes for this one is red cherry fresh citrus and juicy berry and man it's when I tell you it smells good it smells good and they only have it during I believe during the summer when before like right before 4th of July so um yeah and what the, the the cute thing about these ones is it has like the glitter lid just like the um the denim and daisies like this one has they both have like the glitter lids so that I, I like that about these these ones so I would just I would have this is a 10 out of 10 right here this is a 10 out of 10 and this is a 10 out of 10 these are my top three favorite ones that I bought so far at the semi-annual sale. So those are all the fragrances that I purchased at the semi-annual sale and then some of the ones that I've had already that I just didn't have time to do in my last video. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it's not as much as, a, as the last video, but um, I will be doing another Bath & Body Works uh, video. It will be around Christmas time just because I want to show you guys like all of the Christmas smells that I'm that I have um, so this is this is this is what I have though for like the spring and summer so yeah that's that's pretty much it for this video uh, make sure that you guys like this video uh, if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel comment down below other content that you would like to see um, and that's about it I'll see you guys in the next one bye